the question says the total number of 3 into 3 matrices a having entries from the set 0 1 2 3 such that the sum of all diagonal entries of a into a transpose is 9 is equal to so let us suppose any uh, matrix a for example a11 and the elements inside it will be a11 a12 a13 a21 a22 a23 a31 a32 a33 now let us find the transpose of a the transpose of a will be um, transpose means shifting the rows into columns so this first row we will write as it is in a column form so that will give you a11 a12 a13 similarly second row we will uh, write as a column a21 a22 a23 and a31 a32 a33 okay this row we have written as a column this makes the transpose of a according to the question sum of all the diagonal elements of a into a transpose is equal to 9 so let us uh, just form the diagonal elements alone of a into a transpose so when we multiply this first row by the first column we will get let us do the multiplication of these matrices uh, using the row into column method so a1 a11 into a11 that will be a11 square plus a12 into a12 a12 square plus a13 into a13 a13 square this will be our um, first element similarly there will be some two more um, elements on this place a a x y a y z whatever but we have to find only some of the diagonal elements hence we will form those alone so similarly here it will form um, a21 into a21 a21 square plus a22 square plus a23 square similarly there will be another element here and here but this is the uh, diagonal element right now for the third row the diagonal element will be a31 into a31 so a31 square plus a32 square plus a33 square and there will be two more elements here so as you can see these are the diagonal elements of a into a transpose sum of which is equal to 9 as given in the question so let us write that a11 square plus a12 square plus a13 square plus a21 square plus a22 square plus a23 square plus a31 square plus a32 square plus a33 square is equal to 9. Now let us think of different cases in which we can obtain this sum. Uh, so case 1, case 1, when any one of the elements is equal to 3, any one of the elements is 
equal to 3 then uh, the square of that will become 9 and rest of the elements will have to be 0 so that is 9 c1 any 1 is equal to 3 and rest are all 0 so it is fixed into 1 is equal to 9 second case when any two elements are 2 and any one of the elements is equal to 1. Okay, using the number 2, 2 and 1. So that will be 2 square is equal to 4 plus 2 square is equal to 4 plus 1, 1 square is equal to 1. So 4 plus 4, 8 plus 1. Again, it will form the sum as 9. So any 2 are out of the 9, any 2 are 2 into 7 and out of the rest 7 we have to select any 1 which is 1 and rest are 0 uh, so this will be 9c2 this will give you 252 Now let us make case 3. Case 3 will be when any one of the elements is 2 and any other 5 are equal to 1 each. So that will make 2 square is 4 and 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 5 times. So 4 plus 5 9. So using the number 2 and 1, 2, 3. 4, 5, 5 ones. Alright, so 9C1 into 8C5. Rest are 0. So that will be 9 into 8 into 7 into 6 by So when you calculate you will get 504. Now the last case which is the fourth case when all the elements are equal to 1 the sum of each uh, 1 1 1 1 1 9 times will give you 9. So we will need 9 ones. That is 9C9 which is equal to 1. So the total number of ways in which the sum of the diagonal elements of A into A transpose is equal to 9 will be equal to total number of ways are equal to 9 plus 252 plus 504 plus 1 is equal to 766.